Mission two, approach the bench. Ryan Gosling is a Canadian actor who went from a young Disney actor to one of the most successful Hollywood stars. His creative potential is unbelievable. He can sing, dance, and play musical instruments. He is equally organic both in rom-coms and dramas. We'll tell you about his life in our new video. I'm not going to play games with you. I'm afraid you have to hold a sport. Ken, how Ryan Gosling lives and how much he earns. Ryan Thomas Gosling was born on November 12, 1980 in London, Ontario, Canada. The boy got his middle name from his father, Thomas Ray Gosling, who worked as a traveling salesman for a local paper mill. His mother, Donna Gosling, worked as a secretary and, in addition to Ryan, raised her eldest daughter, Mandy. Soon, the Goslings moved to Cornwall in the eastern part of Ontario. There, Ryan spent most of his childhood. At the same time, he grew up as a problematic child. The boy often got into fights, thinking it would attract the girls. It never worked, but resulted in everyone calling him trouble. One day, impressed by the movie First Blood with Sylvester Stallone, he brought kitchen knives to school and started throwing them at classmates. However, Ryan did not want to hurt anyone, simply perceiving his actions as a game. He also had problems with academic performance because he did not like to obey the rules and could hardly sit in one place. The explanation for this was found already in elementary school when he was diagnosed with ADHD, attention deficit or hyperactivity disorder. Hence, Donna Gosling quit her job and transferred her son to homeschooling. Ryan directed his energy not only to fights but also to creativity. He studied in a ballet studio, sang at weddings with his sister, and was an assistant to his uncle, who worked as an Elvis Presley impersonator. The boy decided to become an actor after seeing the crime comedy movie Dick Tracy based on the comic book series of the same name. He also copied Marlon Brando's accent because he thought his Canadian accent didn't sound tough enough. Ryan returned to middle school and started attending drama and fine arts classes. But he did not have time to find friends because soon the family moved again. He then lived in Burlington, Ontario and attended Lester B. Pearson High School. It's worth noting that one thing that helped our hero to socialize at a young age was going to church. His parents were deeply religious Mormons, so, for example, among the shows they allowed him to watch were only films with biblical stories and documentaries about wildlife. At the same time, Ryan never considered himself a Mormon and his mother eventually abandoned religion. In 1993, 12-year-old Gosling went to an open audition in Montreal to participate in the TV show The Mickey Mouse Club. He beat 17,000 other applicants and signed a two-year contract with Disney. Hence, the family moved to Orlando, Florida, and Ryan became their only source of income. That's why they could only afford to live in a trailer park near the filming location. Moreover, the Gosling family then went through difficult times as Thomas and Donna decided to divorce. The children stayed with their mother, but at some point, she had to leave Ryan and return to Canada to keep her job. For six months, the legal guardian of the young actor was the mother of Justin Timberlake, who also starred in the show. Ryan and Justin were inseparable and played pranks together. For example, one day, they stole a golf cart. Among other members of the Mickey Mouse Club, Gosling was an expert in intimate matters. He told Britney Spears, Christina Aguilera, and his friend Justin everything he had heard about this topic. The moms of Ryan's colleagues even complained to the show's management that he was corrupting their children. At the same time, Gosling met A.J. McLean, a member of the new band Backstreet Boys, formed in 1993. Ryan asked his friend to put in a good word for him to the producers but plans to conquer the musical Olympus didn't come true. Despite this, during the time spent in the club, the guy found friends and gained self-confidence. After the cancellation of the show in 1995, he returned to Canada. There, Ryan continued to appear on TV in episodes of the series Are You Afraid of the Dark, Goosebumps, Road to Avonlea, Kung Fu, The Legend Continues, Ready or Not, and Psy Factor, Chronicles of the Paranormal. He also appeared in the family horror movie, Frankenstein and Me. Later, he had a more serious job in the series Breaker High, which aired from 1997 to 1998. 
In addition, Gosling starred in the television series Flash Forward and The Adventures of Shirley Holmes. At the same time, he appeared in the TV drama movie Nothing Too Good for a Cowboy. Then, 17-year-old Ryan decided to drop out of school and went to New Zealand to star in the adventure series Young Hercules. He played the main character and the show was broadcast from 1998 to 1999. What's your problem? <laughs> you just don't get it, do you? That's my mom in there, right? My mom. Yeah, yeah, I get it. It's your mom. During the same period, our hero appeared in the role of Xylus in the TV series Hercules The Legendary Journeys. In 2000, he played in the sports drama Remember the Titans starring Denzel Washington. In 2001, the ex-Disney star surprised everyone by playing the lead role in the drama movie The Believer. He appeared as a Jew expelled from a religious school who became the leader of a neo-Nazi gang. Essential to everything we're talking about here. Spiritual life comes from race, from the blood. Without that, we're no better than the Jews. Interestingly, they quickly shot many scenes due to the small budget of the picture. The film crew could not pay for shooting permits, so their work violated the rules. In 2002, Gosling starred in the movies The Slaughter Rule about American football and Murder by Numbers about investigating a crime in a California resort town. You seem very particular about your appearance, Richard. Thanks. I like your outfit, too. During the murder scenes, Ryan threw up. However, filming with Sandra Bullock brought him much more pleasure. There was a spark between the actors during the only seduction scene in the plot. Ryan's improvisation impressed Sandra, who admitted it was exciting and pleasant. He gallantly warned her what he would do in the frame and asked her not to be angry after the scene. And Ryan, in turn, was fascinated by Bullock from their first meeting. Their romance, however, ended a year later. In 2003, the actor showed his talent in the drama The United States of Leland. Soon after, he started filming in the romantic drama The Notebook, which became a landmark both in his career and personal life. I'm Noel Calhoun. So? So it's really nice to meet Allie, you. who is this guy? I don't know. Noel Calhoun. I would really like to take you out. Fred! Surprisingly, director Nick Cassavetes chose Gosling for the male role because he considered him ugly. And that's what Noah was supposed to be. In preparation for filming, Ryan moved to Charleston, South Carolina, where he studied carpentry for several months. He made all the chairs in front of Noah's house and a table, which later went to the carpenter who trained him. According to some reports, our hero received $1 million for the notebook. Ryan's partner was Rachel McAdams, with whom, by an unusual coincidence, they were born in the same St. Joseph's Hospital in London, Canada. The director noticed the incredible chemistry between the actors during the auditions. However, at first, they barely tolerated each other. Gosling constantly argued with McAdams about the methods of acting and even asked Cassavetes to fire her. According to rumors, the director, tired of endless scandals, locked them in the trailer, after which they agreed to finish filming without fights. As a result, this on-screen romance brought them the MTV Channel Award for the best kiss and public recognition. The relationship between the actors developed further because, as Ryan said, their story with Rachel was much more romantic than that of Noah and Allie. They declared themselves a couple after finishing filming. Beautiful love lasted three years, followed by a breakup. According to rumors, during this time, Gosling had several affairs. But in August 2008, he got back together with McAdams. The second attempt was unsuccessful, and after a few months, the celebrities broke up again. Meanwhile, the actor's career did not stand still. In 2005, he participated in the documentary project I'm Still Here, Real Diaries of Young People Who Lived During the Holocaust, and played in the psychological thriller Stay. In 2006, he could have played in the movie Alpha Dog, but lost the competition to his old friend Justin Timberlake. However, his filmography was enriched by the low-budget drama Half Nelson. The fee of the lead role actor was $1,000 per week. Ryan moved to New York to immerse himself in the life of a history teacher confused about himself and in relationships with students. There, he lived in a small apartment in Brooklyn following the life of a real 8th grade teacher. For Gosling's sake, the movie creators slightly changed the script. After all, the main character was initially about 35 years old, and the actor was only 25. In addition, improvisation was allowed. For example, the scene where Ryan's character picks up a cat was not in the script. 
During its shooting, our hero saw a stray animal and picked it up, and the director decided that it fit perfectly into the story. A drama with a budget of $700,000 grossed more than $4.5 million and brought Gosling nominations for the Screen Actors Guild Award and Oscar. Reckon? Yeah. Yeah, little miss MP3, I got reckons. You should check them out, might learn something. The following year, the audience saw Ryan in two more works. There were the thriller Fracture and the comedy drama Lars and the Real Girl. It's worth noting that the producers of the first movie could not contact the actor for a long time because he went to live in the forest in a tent and was out of touch for about two months. I just felt like being alone. But when Gosling did get in touch, they agreed on a fee of $1 million. In the movie Lars and the Real Girl, the celebrity played a shy young man who fell in love with a doll. Give this to somebody nice. First start. Hello, Lars. To help him get into the character, the film crew treated the doll as an actual person. She had a separate trailer and was present on the set only during her scenes. As for Gosling, he took the role seriously and gained an extra 22 pounds. In addition, the director approved the actor's desire to grow a ridiculous mustache for this role. Ryan also learned to knit, which later became his favorite pastime. For this work, he received nominations for a Screen Actors Guild Award and a Golden Globe. Having built a successful acting career, Gosling did not forget about music. He independently mastered the guitar and piano, and in 2008, together with his friend Zach Shields, he created an indie rock band called Dead Man's Bones. The following year, they released their eponymous debut album. It had 12 tracks, including In the Room Where You Sleep, the soundtrack of the 2013 film The Conjuring. The band's songs have a mystical theme. Therefore, the band toured the United States during the Halloween season. Ryan performed under the stage name Baby Goose. Paying so much attention to music turned out to be accidental. Ryan was supposed to star in the movie The Lovely Bones. He gained about 55 pounds by eating burgers and ice cream and grew a beard. It seemed to him that his character, the grieving father of the deceased girl, should look exactly like this. But Peter Jackson, the director, was not ready for this transformation and fired the actor due to creative disagreements. Gosling soon returned to the cinema screens, which is why his music band had to suspend its activities. In 2010, Ryan starred in the drama Blue Valentine, the script of which was written specifically for him and Michelle Williams. He received another Golden Globe nomination for this role. Ryan also appeared in the mystery drama All Good Things, in one of the scenes, Gosling's character pulls Kirsten Dunst by the hair, and it was so unpleasant to him that the next day he sent flowers to his filming partner as a sign of apology. The following 2011 was a busy year for the celebrity. Gosling appeared in an episode of the educational comedy series Drunk History and played in three films. In May, the audience saw Ryan in the lead role as a stunt driver in the action drama Drive. At the same time, he performed most of the tricks on his own and studied Thai boxing before filming. In addition to picking up the car for his character, he also repaired and reassembled it. I got this sweet job coming up. How about this? Shut your mouth. Or I'll kick your teeth down your throat and I'll shut it for you. In memory of his work in this picture, the actor got a replica of a Patek Philippe wristwatch used during filming. For this role, he received two nominations for an MTV award. In July, Gosling showed his talent in the romantic comedy Crazy Stupid Love. What? Hold on a second. Are you the billionaire owner of Apple computers? No. Oh, okay. Well, in that case, you got no right to wear New Balance sneakers ever. Come on. To get Apollo's body, he refused sweets and trained in the gym for two hours, five days a week. It's like you're photoshopped. In addition, the actor has mastered the skills of a bartender. His partner was Emma Stone, an on-screen kiss with whom received an MTV Channel Award nomination. And Ryan also became a Golden Globe nominee. According to some sources, his fee amounted to $6 million. Another Golden Globe nomination went to the actor for the political drama The Ides of March, released at the end of August. Meanwhile, the public followed the personal life of our hero. Rumors said he had romances with actresses Kate Dennings, Jamie Murray, Olivia Wilde, Emma Stone, and Blake Lively. 
but very soon he found the love of his life. While preparing to film in the crime drama The Place Beyond the Pines, Ryan invited his old friend Eva Mendez to try out for the role of Romina. She successfully passed the casting, which resulted in an affair between them while working together. Soon, people started noticing them together, although the celebrities preferred not to comment on their personal lives. Yeah, just all, you know what I'm saying? Just captured the mood. There's a nice bike. Bike's part of the family. Critics mostly favorably reviewed their joint project, The Place Beyond the Pines. However, the final cut did not include a scene, the shooting of which was very difficult for Ryan. In it, the main character accelerates on a motorcycle to skip an intersection before 36 cars crash into each other. The director decided not to use the stuntman, and the actor had to do 22 takes. He was so nervous and clenched his shirt so tightly with his teeth that he managed to chew a hole in it. In 2013, the actor's filmography was enriched by the thriller Only God Forgives and the action movie Gangster Squad. In the latter, he again worked with Emma Stone. To better convey the character, Ryan changed his voice, but eventually got the voice of his childhood hero, Marlon Brando, which critics did not fail to notice. Then, Gosling tried himself as a director and a writer, and in 2014 presented the fantasy thriller Lost River. The premiere took place on May 20 at the Cannes Film Festival, where Ryan received two nominations in the categories Golden Camera and Uncertain Regard. The film was received very coolly by critics, but over time, it began to receive more positive reviews from fans of the surreal fantasy genre. On the carpet at Cannes, our hero appeared without Eva Mendez, hence there were rumors about their separation. But it turned out that the actress was absent for another reason – pregnancy. Soon, she gave birth to a daughter, Esmeralda Amada. Eva admitted that she had never intended to give birth before, but having fallen in love with Ryan, she wanted children from him. In 2015, the actor appeared as a salesman in the drama movie The Big Short. During filming, he had to wear dark contact lenses. He received a nomination for the Screen Actors Guild Award for this role. A year later, his filmography was enriched by the action comedy movie The Nice Guys and the romantic musical La La Land. In the latter, Gosling once again played in a pair with Emma Stone. They, according to director Damien Chazelle, looked like a classic Hollywood couple. And it's dying. It's dying, man. It's dying on the vine. And the world says, let it die. It had its time. Well, not on my watch. The film received numerous awards and became a box office success. Ryan won a Golden Globe for his role as a jazz pianist Sebastian and had nominations for an Oscar, a BAFTA, a Screen Actors Guild Award, and an MTV Channel Award in two categories – Best Kiss and Best Musical Moments. Before filming, the actor learned to play the piano and took ballroom dancing and step lessons with Emma. By the way, the audition scene where the casting director interrupts Mia and answers the call during her very emotional acting is a real case from Gosling's life. La La Land brought the genre of musicals back to the top of popularity, and Ryan's fee was $29 million plus bonuses. Moreover, for the sake of the role of Sebastian, he refused to shoot in the movie Beauty and the Beast. In 2016, the gosling Mendez couple had a second daughter, Amada Lee. In March 2017, the audience saw the premiere of the experimental drama Song to Song, the filming of which took place without any script. In the fall, Gosling starred in the neo-noir movie Blade Runner 2049. If anything happens to this, that's it. You're gone. Yes. Like a real girl. The filming of the latter took place in conditions of the strictest secrecy. To avoid leaking the details, no actor had the complete script of the role. By the way, Harrison Ford once accidentally hit Ryan in the eye on the set. As a result of the work, Gosling received a nomination for the Saturn Award and a fee of $10 million. In 2018, the audience saw Ryan in the role of Neil Armstrong in the movie First Man. That's one small step for man. One giant leap for mankind. Our hero found out that Armstrong liked to play the theremin box, hence they added this unusual musical instrument to the soundtrack. Ryan also worked out with NASA equipment and received a concussion during one of the training sessions. 
He later admitted that he would have ignored this case and could have received complications if Eva had not convinced him to see a doctor. Gosling's fee was $6.5 million. In 2019, our hero voiced a blue penguin in Julio Torres's My Favorite Shapes. He did not appear on movie screens until 2022. His first work after the break was the action movie The Gray Man. The lead actors, Gosling and Chris Evans, constantly improvised. For example, all the lines during the first personal meeting of their characters were impromptu. Where's the drive? I got it here somewhere. It's hard to see. Is that, <clears throat> is that in? <laughs> Ryan again got injured on the set on the first day. Evans accidentally hit him in the face with a fake weapon. According to media reports, the celebrity's fee was $20 million. And in July of this year, the audience saw the premiere of the long-awaited movie Barbie starring our hero and Margot Robbie. The director of the project, Greta Gerwig, didn't want anyone else for the role of Ken and Gosling agreed with a little help from his daughters. After reading the script, he went out to the backyard of his house and saw a Ken doll lying face down in the mud next to a crushed lemon. The actor took a picture of it and sent it to Gerwig with the words, I shall be your Ken for this story must be told. According to the media, Ryan received $12.5 million for his work. Next year, we'll see the premiere of the action movie The Fall Guy, a film adaptation of the 1980s television series of the same name. Ryan also plans to star in the horror movie Wolfman, the film adaptation of the novel project Hail Mary. And moreover, the audience will see Ryan in the prequel to The Ocean's Eleven, where he'll team up with Margot Robbie again. Sometimes, rumors say that Gosling and Eva Mendes are on the verge of breaking up, but the star couple ignores these conversations and enjoys living together. I live with angels, the actor says about his wife and daughters, and for the sake of children, he tries to grow as a man. By the way, the couple teaches their daughters both English and Spanish. Ryan started learning Spanish right after his relationship with Mendez began. Now, he can talk about everyday topics in this language. No one knows if Ryan and Eva got married, but the media suggests they did. Last year, Mendez shared a picture of her new tattoo, De Gosling, which is the designation of a double surname. She also called Ryan a husband in an interview. By the way, Ryan also has tattoos on his body, one of which he did himself. My design, this was a monster's hand dropping a bleeding heart. However, the result looked more like a cactus, but our hero was not upset by the failure because he does not take tattoos on his body too seriously. Gosling spends his free time either with his family or alone. The actor considered a dog named George to be his best friend. He lived with Ryan for a long time, and as the actor claims, he behaved just like a person. George loved to walk with a mohawk, accompanied the owner on film sets, and once appeared with them on a late night show. In December 2016, the dog died, after which Ryan wore his dog tag around his neck for a long time. A few years ago, he and Eva got a new pet, taking a Doberman puppy named Lucho from the shelter. Gosling's favorite vacation spot is Disneyland. The celebrity went there on dates with girls, including Eva. Sometimes, he comes alone and enjoys the rides and fabulous atmosphere. Now, Ryan Gosling's net worth is around $70 million. In recent years, his fees have increased significantly. Before that, his base rate was about $2 million, less than many other Hollywood stars. At the same time, experts called him one of the most profitable actors for film studios. Every dollar spent on films with him brought an average of $636 in income. The Hollywood star owns the Moroccan restaurant Tajine, located in Beverly Hills. He became a co-owner of the establishment by chance at the request of a friend, but fell in love with this place and is now engaged in creating the menu. Ryan is also actively involved in charitable activities, collaborating with various organizations and foundations. He visited refugee camps in Sudan, helped the Hurricane Katrina victims in Mississippi, and allocated time and money to help the animals and impoverished people. The actor has advertising contracts with the Gucci fashion brands and the Swiss watch company Tog Heuer. By the way, Gosling appeared in a commercial for canned soup in his youth. In 2018, Ryan and Eva bought a Mediterranean-style mansion worth $8 million. The house, built in 1924 near Los Angeles, had six bedrooms, a spacious living room with a fireplace, a library, a wine cellar, a gym, and a cozy courtyard with a rectangular swimming pool. However, recently, the media reported that the couple secretly sold the property for $5 million. Earlier, they sold another house in Los Angeles for $1.3 million. Formerly, it belonged to Mendez, but the celebrities lived there for several years after the birth of their children. 
The house had three bedrooms, two bathrooms, a living room with a piano, several terraces, and a hot tub in the courtyard. The media suggest they sell real estate in the City of Angels as part of a plan. Perhaps they want to move to a more secluded place, possibly in Ontario, Canada. There, the celebrities will be able to raise children away from the bright lights of Hollywood. However, there are no details about the Gosling Mendez family's new home yet. But it is known that while Ryan is on set, the couple rents houses nearby to stay together. So, while working on the yet-to-be-released film The Fall Guy, they lived in a luxurious two-story mansion in the suburbs of Sydney worth $16 million. They had an outdoor swimming pool, several bedrooms, a library, and a large terrace on the second floor. The actor's garage includes a BMW Z8 sports convertible, the iconic Ford Mustang, the famous Porsche 911, and a practical Range Rover Vogue for family trips. Moreover, he bought a Jeep Cherokee driven by Ben Chaplin in Murder by Numbers. When Barbie is breaking box office records, people call Ken's role the best in our hero's career. It should bring him at least a nomination for an Oscar. Do you think Ryan Gosling is worthy of this prestigious award? He likes you. Yes, it's terrific. If you like the video, leave a like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything interesting.